today is going to be a long day <laughs> hello my friends it's nina today i am planning to do a major room makeover at least i hope it's a major room makeover because i bought a lot of stuff but honestly i don't know if i have the energy to do everything this is basically the last time you're going to see my room like this i'm getting rid of a few things adding a few things i am just in need of some change in my life so it is currently september it is nearing the end of I swear I thought it was the middle of September. So it's almost October. That means it's fall, it's almost winter, which means shorter days, which means less sunlight. My room as it is doesn't get a lot of sunlight. I currently have my curtains all the way up. This is the only way I can get as much sunlight into my room as possible. By the time it gets around 4 or 5 p.m., it starts to get dark and it's not a great lighting situation. So one of my biggest changes is going to be this thing here. This shelf is going to go and I'm replacing it with a white shelf. It's the same exact shelf, but in white. I was considering painting it, but I don't have paint. I decided to order the same shelf in white. I'm going to put this in another room. I do like the shelf but just not in my room. And then I'm also replacing that mirror with a white mirror. Hopefully it just makes my room look brighter and hopefully a little bit bigger. I'm also going to replace this little storage cart with another storage cart. This was kind of a last minute decision. If you remember one of my older vlogs, I bought this. I built it. This will be going to the bathroom and I got a nice green gray little cart. So that's going to happen. There's just a lot of things I'm going to change. I'm also building a little nightstand because next to my bed I don't have a nightstand or any proper storage. I also saw some stuff on TikTok. Basically a lot of people on TikTok have those LED lights on their walls. I heard that those attract spiders. I've never really had a spider problem in my room but I also don't have a lot of light in my room so I'm going to just try it out. I bought some LED lights. They're pretty short. I don't plan to hang them on my ceiling. A lot of people just hang it on the ceiling if you can see it. They'll just hang it like this but my ceilings are way too high for me to reach and I don't want it all over my room. I am planning to focus the LED lights just on my windows. I have two windows. We'll see how that goes but hopefully that brings more light to my room. I only have that lamp, a lamp on my desk, and then some LED fairy lights that I have. I also bought some cute little decor pieces. There's a lot I have to do but change is good. We're going to say goodbye to this shelf. Just a few months ago I actually set this all up nicely and now I have to remove everything again. <laughs> I guess let's just get started. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully the white shelf will be able to blend in with my white wall and then it'll just kind of look like a wall. I'm going to remove my Polaroids, all my albums, books, accessories, paintings, all that. This is going to be a mess. I worked so hard on this. That's okay. This will all be worth it in the end. Hopefully. Oh wow, it's empty. I see the floor, right? I'll do that. The shelf is now completely empty. I'm going to remove this and we're going to build the new shelf. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna use it in another room, so this isn't goodbye. Okay, time to go. It's easy to slide, thank goodness. It's empty! <laughs> so actually I do want to show you one thing that I got. Here is the little storage cart I was talking about. I built this on a different day and it's cute. It has a nice subtle green gray color. I think this would go well with the red furniture pieces that I have. I think one day if I ever do get tired of my red furniture, I might paint that because these dressers are huge. I don't really want to get rid of them. They function perfectly fine, but it's just the color. I do enjoy the bold red color though, so I'm sticking with that for a while. And so because of that, I got this green cart. I'm going to replace that cart with this cart. I'm not really sure what I should be doing right now. I think I'm going to fill the shelf up first, just so I can get rid of as much as possible right now. Here is everything so far. Everything else will go inside the new shelf. I am currently filling up this cart and then this is just complete emptiness. We're getting somewhere though. So saying goodbye to this cart. Here is the new cart. This one is less wide, so I have space here for a cute little basket, which means more storage. I recently bought a little basket. I'm going to put it here. It's going to carry my purses, bags, miscellaneous items, all that. Just optimizing as much space as I can. You could also throw in pillows, blankets, other lightweight items. But this area is basically done for now. So cute. I think now I'm going to finally build the shelf. This is not going to be easy. This is also going to take a very long time. Let's get into the time lapse. Oh, 
explode. You okay? No. So I just continued building. I wanted to mention that a lot of the furniture I got in this video are from Ikea, not sponsored. The green cards, basket, this shelf, and other stuff are from there and I'll have links down below for you. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Finally, I placed my new mirror into my room and this time I actually decided to put the mirror next to my closet and I pushed my shelf closer to the door. Oh, this is so much better. I realized this was much more practical and it gave me a little more physical space and it looked like I had a third window. Next, I just built my little nightstand. This was easy to build, so I finished making it quickly. For the last year and a half that I've lived here, I've never had a nightstand, so I was excited to have more storage. I could also have functional, useful things near me, such as lip balm, hair ties, things like that. I could have my water ball near me and recently I started reading again, so I have a book near me as well. It's just a great time. <laughs> and another thing that I decided to do was add these colorful fairy lights to the inside of my new shelf. I did this to illuminate the shelf and add another point of brightness in my room. I thought it would also help to display the things I had in my shelf, such as my K-pop albums, my books, makeup, accessories, and other things. I just taped up the lights using washi tape. As for my nightstand, I just placed a bunch of items to make it look nice. I added some vases, hopefully to put flowers in in the future, some scrunchies, a lip balm, hair clips and hair ties, and a nice salt lamp for some extra light. I love the red pink color of it. And next, I cleaned up my desk, I added a little organizer for my journals and electronics, and I took out some things to make my workspace more practical, organized, and minimal, while also adding a few more things. I got little boxes to stow away random items, and it's all organized. Whew. I'm so tired. It is currently 9 p.m. It is still not too very late, but it is nighttime, so we don't have daylight. That means I'm going to try to finish my LED lights tonight while it's still nighttime. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. As you can see, I have some lights going on. It also took me a very long time to get these fairy lights up, but they're up. I love the color. And then back there, I also have the same fairy lights. These were shorter, so I just hung it behind my turntable audio system just for a pop of light there. I think it looks so cool. Ah! I definitely have more light going on and I honestly just have a lot more space. Ah, I'm so happy about everything. And then over there I figured out my nightstand situation. Ah, oh, water tastes so good after a day of physical activity. Delicious. Now I'm going to hang up the rest of my LED lights and hope that goes well. Hopefully it's not very confusing. I honestly think I might be able to finish everything tonight, so let's keep going. I'm really so happy with how everything's going right now. My room just looks more like how I want my room to look. Also another thing, I'll actually just show you all of my items. I just have a few more items for my room and then everything should be done. So for all the LED lights that I have, it's battery powered so I'm not using my plug outlets or my home electricity. There are a few items that are going to be using actual electricity but I'm going to have these unplugged anyway. I'll only plug them in when I need it and that's probably going to be not all the time. I just want these LED lights for special occasions. I'll alcohol prep pad. I'm assuming this is for the wall. Oh, I mean, 
This shouldn't go terribly. <laughs> and then I just have one more kit. I'm going to cover my windows. That's it. I'm not doing my entire ceiling. I also got some... I saw this on the internet as well. This is just a crystal that you hang by a window and this is supposed to reflect light and kind of make it look like it's raining colors. And finally, this is my big purchase that I made. I was honestly gonna skip this, but you only live once. I bought a night light projector. It's one of those galaxy light projectors. I don't know how this works either. Oh, oh, I swear this is USB powered. So the thing about this projector is that I think this also works if you have a power bank, which is useful, especially because I'm not going to use this all the time. So then I can just connect it to my power bank. I hope this is charged. Ugh, I don't think it is. We'll see. <gasps> It's charged. I will use this. So here's a power bank. This is something I used for my concerts. Now I'm putting it to another good use. Here is the projector. Oh my goodness. So I don't know what to do. Does this need a battery? Hello? How does this work? Bluetooth mode. Point that away from yourself. It works. Oh my goodness. I am now going to try to put up the LED lights. These are basically tape, so it already has adhesive. Let's do this. I kind of hung up my LED lights very lazily. I didn't take the time to rub the walls with alcohol or hold the strips to the walls for multiple seconds. Definitely do that if you want to, but I just pressed on the strips as firmly as I could and they're holding up pretty well. They come with remotes and you can change the colors, the brightness, all that. I really love the results. Oh my god. So pretty. This is so nice, especially at night. I'm not gonna have these on during the day, of course, but at night my room was always so dark. I'm so happy, oh my goodness. This is reminding me of the days when I did have lights in my room. I actually used to have string lights against my wall. You might have seen some in my older videos. It's nice to have these lights. It's just a nice addition of light and color, especially over here because I had absolutely no light going on. Now I have my salt lamp, I have LED lights here, and because of this mirror placement, it looks like I have a third window. No, but that's just the magic of mirrors. I'm so happy with how my room turned out. It's so cute. Here is a full view of my room at night. So much more light and I'm not even using all of my lamps. Love it. I still have to do a little bit of decorating, some cleaning. I have to wipe my mirror, but this is pretty much it. This is basically it for the room makeover and I love how my room basically has a day mode and a night mode. I'll show you my room as it is at night. I love how I have much more light in my room. As usually, it was always hard to film at night. Now I have plenty of options and I just love the cozy atmosphere. And then here is my room the next morning. I actually did hang up the crystal and the morning sun hit the crystal and displayed all these rainbow spots around my room and it was so pretty pretty. It made my room feel kind of magical. I also just love how everything ties together and feels cozy in the daytime as well. I hope you enjoyed this room makeover and maybe got some ideas or just had a good time. I might do an updated room tour one day to go more into detail with my entire room. I know there are items and corners of my room I haven't mentioned yet so I could talk about them next time. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm sending you all a virtual hug, stay safe and healthy, and goodbye my friends.